Hallelujah. We'll all be here worshiping, praising the name of God, appreciating Him for His goodness in our lives. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we worship you. We adore you for a brand new day. Thank you for a brand new week. Lord, we worship you. King of glory, we adore you. There is none like you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness, for your mercy. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for always being there for us, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We adore you. We bless your holy name. Because you have been a good and great father to us. We adore you, O oh God. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. As we go, go with us. As we start, start with us. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning. We submit to your majesty and we say, Lord, have your way. Take control, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your name, O God. We worship you. We adore you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless your holy name. King of kings and Lord of lords. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for a brand new day. Thank you for a brand new week. Thank you for all that you are about to do, O oh God. Hallelujah. Um, sorry, this today is I don't know. The devil is a liar. That's all I can say. <laughs> I had pla I mean there's a particular laptop I'm supposed to use for this and all of a sudden the camera just didn't work. I don't know what happened. Tried to figure it out for some time and I had to get another one to be able to use this morning. Anyways, here we are. Thank God we are here and we're about to worship God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. This morning, the word um, that God gave us, you know, I want us to just be in an attitude of worship in our hearts this morning that he has given us that grace and privilege to see a brand new week once again. A brand new week. And this is like the second to the last week in March. He has been able to, you know, God has been so good, so kind to us to see us through, to see us through everything that we have been, we have gone through. And we want to appreciate him for his goodness. We want to appreciate him for his mercy. Father, we worship you. Daddy, we adore you. We bless your holy name. We say there is none like you, Jehovah. I am that I am, the lifter up of our head, the ancient of days. We give you praise. This morning, the word the Lord gave me to share with us before we go into worship is um that you do not waste opportunities to be good do not waste opportunities to be good don't waste opportunities to be good you know god gives us opportunities to be good yes father we thank you this morning it gives us opportunities several times to be good. What I mean is, there are times something will just come to your mind that, oh, maybe you should attend to this person. Or, oh, 
you probably want to you know the holy spirit will just minister something to your heart and in your heart you feel like ah, maybe i should do it maybe what if that person feels like who are you to be giving me handouts did i tell you i need something and i know some of us are like that <laughs> so one thing i want us to just take from to this morning is this there are several examples in the bible i won't be able to read all of it because we don't i don't have so much time the time has been spent um trying to figure out and figure out the the device what to use and the camera and all that issue this morning but i'll just mention a few points for us this morning to charge us for this new week to launch us into this new week few examples are this one remember abraham abraham extended his hand of hospitality to angels unknown to him he didn't even know they were angels but immediately he looked up and saw them afar of walking towards um towards his tent he felt See if we can just go back, but go by in this hot sun, in this dry desert. Maybe they need, maybe they need water. Maybe they need food. Let me just ask them. Let me help them. Let me give them something. And unknown to him, he didn't know they were angels. It wasn't like the Holy Spirit told him help these people. He just felt it came natural to him that I need to help these people. And he didn't even know they were angels. And he helped them. He extended his hand of hospitality to them. Okay. So, as children of God, this is what we are expected to do. As you go about your work this week, as you meet people, maybe you go to Walmart, maybe you go to a store, maybe you go to do your hair, maybe you go to do your anything, your nails. Look around you. Holy Spirit always talking. God is always talking. There might there's someone around you that he wants you to extend your hand of hospitality to, extend your hand of help to. We're supposed to impact our world. That is how we impact our world. Praise the Lord. Abraham did that and he got him Isaac. Those angels were the ones that declared, you know, this time next year, Sarah, your wife, will carry a child. And his name will carry Isaac and that was how he got the miracle they have been eagerly and earnestly waiting for through the hand of hospitality extending hand of hospitality another example is Rahab in in the land of Jericho remember this woman is a harlot but God used her to extend God used her to be a savior to the people of Israel during the time when they were trying to conquer Jericho. And look at how she, only her family was saved in in that whole city, in that whole place. It was only her and her entire family that were saved. Every other people, every person was killed, you know, perished just because she sensed in her spirit I could be used of God. And that is what I want you to think about this week. That That's what I want us to think about this week. That God can use me. God can use you. God can use anybody. And using us means we can be used as an instrument of help to others. Now, don't get me wrong. You might have helped somebody genuinely, sincerely before. And they did something bad to you in return. Don't let that stop you from still doing good. Don't let that stop you from still extending your hand. Because I'll give you a personal uh, personal testimony. This past weekend, you know, I went to a program that was done by um, the woman in RCCGNA. Um, And I was going to the restroom just to ease myself, you know. And there were some ladies there, they were sitting, they were the ones taking care of the restroom throughout the entire program. So we go there, 
mess the place up and this lady's going there to clean it up so by the time you come back again it's all clean smelling nice everything looking good that is some work i don't know if some of us can do that but they are doing it joyfully joyfully happily this time we come in they will greet us oh the thing coming how are you they, you know with smiles and i'm like really and holy Spirit, as i entered the holy spirit told me do something for these ladies i'm like oh okay and you know i could have said brush it away i said why why should i what should i do for them what can i do i don't know what what can i do for these ones you know but immediately i sense in my spirit god wants me to do some things you know extend my hand of generosity to them and as i entered the restroom i packaged something from my purse and as i stepped out i gave it to them and they were so happy they thanked me i said oh thank god thank god it's for every one of you you know and i left then there was this thing they did at the at the program that was like a health fair while the health fair they were doing some kind of raffle they would give you a number maybe they would call a number you would win a prize or you win a gift in my entire life <laughs> In my entire life, I'm telling you this. I have never won anything in my entire life. Like maybe they give you a number and they say, oh, they will call that number. You win something. I, will, I have never won anything when it comes to those kind of things. This particular day, I won something. I won a gift card if I was more than what I had blessed those ladies with. And not just that, I want another gift again. I was like, wow. So simple obedience. This is how God answers you. I'm telling you, when you obey, simple obedience. Because sometimes the Holy Spirit will prompt you to do something. Like I'm saying now. I don't know if it was the Holy Spirit that prompted Abraham to see those angels coming. And he felt in his spirit, these people might need my help. Let me help them. Maybe it was the Holy Spirit, maybe it wasn't. But most of the time when those things come up in our hearts that this person might need to, let me let me do something. Should I give him? It's the Holy Spirit prompting you. It can't be the devil. It cannot be the devil. <laughs> Believe me. It cannot be the devil. The devil cannot tell you to help somebody. The devil cannot tell you to extend your hand of generosity to somebody. No. It's the Holy Spirit. So this week, I'm challenging us. Extend your hand. Don't waste the opportunity to be good. Don't waste it. Don't waste because you don't know what God wants to use it for in your situation. Of course, you have prayer lists. You have prayer points. They are praying to God. Ah, Father, this, 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 this. You don't know if that is what God will use to bless you. You don't know if that person that God is prompting you to help as the answer to what you are praying for i hope you let me repeat that to you you might not get that let me repeat it you don't know if that person that you are extending your hand of hospitality to has answer to the prayers you have been praying for believe me Look at those angels. They had the answer to Abraham's prayer over the years. They had answers. Answer for Abraham's prayer points over the years. And he didn't know. He just felt these people need to be washed. They need to eat. They need to feel refreshed before they continue on their journey. And not only that. He got to know they were going to Sodom to destroy the city where his um, nephew was living with his family. And he was able to, you know, plead with them to save them. You see how God works in mysterious ways. When you go out this week, please, please, just remember. Remember that people come your way for a reason for every time it might be just a smile it might be just oh good morning you look so good this morning that is enough hand of hospitality to somebody that person might just need your smile that person might just need a hug 
believe me, it's not always about oh money, um, help or somebody needs help, financial uh, help. No, no, it's not only about that. It could be just hi oh good morning how was your weekend just checking up on someone it might be just a text oh how are you been a time some time i've heard from you how are you doing just checking up on you that's enough can make somebody's day that, that might be all they needed for that day for their day to be good believe me and when like somebody said that i've heard before it says when you show love to people people respond with love believe me I don't know. I don't know if if you if it's genuine love you are extending to others, they will definitely extend it back to you. They naturally will respond that oh this person likes me, this person cares about me. They will respond, and you don't even know how God will use that situation that you know that hand of hospitality you are extending to that person in in a way you don't even know God can use it. Like I said. This past weekend, it's my own personal testimony. I didn't even think as like something that God will use to show me that when you obey me, like tiny obedience, I'm telling you do this and you do it. This is what can happen. Now imagine if it was something big. I could have gotten maybe millions. You never know, right? Praise the Lord. And please, this week, I'm, I'm pleading with us don't let us waste opportunities to be good other examples are um this um like i said abraham rahab in jericho how he he helped the spies and his and her entire family were saved the lesson is that as you go about your work your family you know your other activities this week i want us to remember that god is watching and god is taking notes like the bible says is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him is a rewarder it's not a recorder it doesn't record <laughs> once he notices that something is happening here he would take it up and use it to bless somebody hallelujah some other texts um, that i want us to read is romans 12 13 romans 12 13. Romans 12 13 says, Contribute. I'm reading an Amplify Classic. Contribute to the needs of God's people, sharing in the necessities of the saints. Pursue the practice of hospitality. Pursue the practice of hospitality. It is necessary. You when i was growing up i know my elders would say you never know where your children will get to so the the good works the good works of your parents or i know i'm enjoying the good works of my father my father is as is past is gone but the good works he had done when he was here on earth because he was so hospitable everyone even people that there is still someone in my mother's house today that we are not related, but we have taken him as a brother. Like, he's not part of our family. That is how hospitable my father was. People that he sees, oh, this person needs help. Let's help him. Yeah, come. Come and stay in my house. They will start living with us. They will take care of them. You know. Some, some have even repaid him back with evil. Believe me. But it didn't stop him. From being good that is what god wants from us and i pray that god will help us this morning in jesus name the next verse i want us to read is hebrews 13 2. hebrews 13 2. it says amplify classic again it says do not forget or neglect or refuse to extend hospitality to strangers in the brotherhood being friendly cordial and gracious sharing the comforts of your home okay <laughs> and doing your part generously for through it some have entertained angels without knowing it 
without knowing it. Some have entertained angels. You know, I pray God will help us this morning. I pray, I pray that God will, the Holy Spirit himself, will give us um, the eyes of the Spirit to see those things that he wants us to do, to observe those situations that need our attention to pay attention to and be a blessing to somebody. Because sometimes it takes the eyes of the Spirit to see that somebody is in need or somebody needs help. And I praise I praise God for that. He gave me that, you know, that gift of discernment. I observe things a lot. I on I observe people and I know it's not me, it's the Spirit of God. Some things that people don't notice, I notice it. I'm I'm it's just a gift. And I I believe everybody can have it if we pay attention. If we pay attention because I was like that before, so I'll just enter places or ghost places. I don't see all those. Like, really, really observe your environment. Observe who you're standing with, where you are seated, who you are seated with, how they look, what is their continent. Those are the things you you just try to, you know, settle down, just perceive in your spirit. What is God saying? I pray God will help us this morning in Jesus' name. I pray that this week is blessed. I pray that God will go before you this week and make every crooked path straight in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. King of kings, we worship you. Ancient of days, we adore you because you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. There is none like you, Jehovah. I am that I am. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands and worship. As we praise your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship, praise your holy name. Oh, you deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name. For you are great. You do me. no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. No one else like you. Yes, Lord. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Yes, Lord. 
You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. Mighty, mighty things. You do glorious things. Faithful, faithful, faithful God. Awesome is your name. Hallelujah. You do glorious things. A faithful Father. Awesome is your name. Yes, Lord. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Matalegerebosham the Gerabosa. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Healer. Your name is Healer. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Healer. Your name is Healer. Your name is Healer. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Healer. Your name is Hila. Mandarabosa na na ye ka na ya na na ye ye de bosa. The miracle working God. Your name is Hila. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Mandarabosa na ya ka na na ne na. Your name is Yahweh, Miracle Walker. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Your name is Yahweh, Miracle, Miracle Working God. Your name is Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, hey. Consider all the works thy hands have made, and I see the stars, I hear the roaring thunder, thy power throughout the universe display, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, hallelujah, how great thou art, uh, 
How great, how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, hallelujah, how great thou Thank you, Jesus. Father, I worship you. Lord, I bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. There is none like you, O God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for an awesome time in your presence. Thank you for speaking to us once again. We bless your name. We worship you. We give you praise. We give you glory. There is none like you, Jehovah. Thank you for teaching us once again. Thank you for speaking to us once again. Thank you because we know this week will be a blessed one. We thank you because this week shall be a, a, a this brand new week shall be a week of lifting, a week of blessing, a week of expansion, a week of increase in the name of increase on every side, peace on every side. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name, O God. Hallowed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Next week, we're going to be here once again, Monday. We're going to come to worship him. So, um, I believe in God next week is going to be awesome. Whatever God tells us, we will do. But I'm sensing it's going to be just a day of worship. That's what I'm sensing in my spirit. I'm believing. I'm I'm. I'm 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 hoping and I'm praying that God will give us insight and and direction. But I'm believing it's I'm sensing it's gonna be a day of worship, just a day of worship next week, Monday by God's grace. Join us once again and be blessed in Jesus' name. Shalom. See you next week in Jesus' name. Amen. Why I lift my voice? Why I sing to you?